Good morning, lovelies. I'm so tired today. <laughs> Our oldest son went on a field trip, so I had to drop him off at 4.45 this morning. And I know I go to the gym. I'm at the gym working out at that point in time. Like, I'm past the warm-up into my workout at 4.45 a.m. But when I'm up and I'm not working out at that hour of the day, I'm struggling a little bit, I gotta admit. So, yeah, but anyway, this morning I wanted to talk to you guys about this concept of dieting. We are going into the end of the year, okay? Fourth quarter, we're almost into November, okay? Sunday is November which means that a lot of people will start to indulge more than they normally would and add to that they think oh well in january i'll just go on a diet right new year's resolutions here is the thing that i want to remind you of it gets harder and harder to lose weight excessive weight or vanity pounds or whatever you want to call it. It gets harder and harder to lose that stuff the older you get. So every year that goes by when this is your game plan, it's going to get harder to achieve it every single year. And I want you to think right now about how you feel about yourself right now. Are you in the middle of trying to lose weight and you're so frustrated because you feel like you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing and the scale is not moving? Which let me just backtrack here. You guys know I'm not a fan of the scale. Um, but I understand that that is a way that a lot of people measure their progress. So <clears throat> if the scale is not moving and you're frustrated right now, I want you to remember this feeling. If we can connect our goals to an emotion, if we can connect our actions to the way that we feel, we will remember that more than just some arbitrary goal that we write down or don't write down, but we just kind of like toss out there as, well, that'd be nice to do. So think of how you feel right now. Okay, if you feel awesome right now because you've recently been successful at achieving your goals, remember how you feel right now so that when you start to indulge over and over and over again, you're going to lose this feeling very quickly. I'm just going to be honest with you. So going into the holidays, you need to be strategic about it. Don't eat all the foods. You don't need to eat all the foods. Nobody needs to eat all the foods. Be the person at the party or be the person helping cook dinner to help come up with some healthier alternatives, okay? Um, a lot of people might you know scoff but again let me remind you we have we can't eat with reckless abandon with this theory that oh we only get to eat this way once a year false we eat like that all the time you got parties you got new years halloween well halloween's coming up this week and um, but you know what I mean, you know, St. Patrick's Day, we have these things in the end of the summer and you cook out, it's 4th of July, it's Memorial Day, it's Labor Day. We do this kind of stuff all the time. So don't approach this food like, oh, I'm never going to eat it, I got to eat it now, I'm never going to eat it. By the way, nobody said that you can't have Thanksgiving throughout the year. If you want to have a little Thanksgiving, get yourself a little turkey, a little baked potato. You can do that. Nobody's telling you you can't do that. So YOLO, okay? Have Thanksgiving in June be my guest. But what I'm trying to say is stop approaching these meals like you got to get it all in while you can because you don't know when you're going to be able to eat Sister Mary Catherine's casserole ever again. You're going to be okay. I promise you're going to be okay. And if you feel like you're going to offend somebody because you're not going to eat their food, that's their problem. That's not yours. Sorry. It really is. It needs to be said. I also want to remind you that this term diet is such a temporary thing. A lot of people go into these temporary mindsets, um, fat loss, pills, shakes, wraps, and everything in between. Those are temporary. You have got to make lifestyle changes in order to see that stuff sustainably. If you want to lose weight, you're going to have to exercise. You're going to have to move your body. You're going to have to sweat a little bit. Because surprise, surprise, we lose body fat 
through exhaling. That's how you lose body fat, okay? Literally, like vaporized. Um, so you're gonna have to sweat, you're gonna have to work hard. That's, that is why exercise can be so effective with weight loss, or rather fat loss, because we don't want the fat. The weight is really just kind of like whatever. Fat loss, that's what we're interested in. But when we get into this mindset of, I'm gonna do a diet, I'm gonna like cut back for just a little period of time, or I'm only gonna not eat this for this period of time, when you start eating that stuff again, you probably are gonna to start to gain weight again, okay? Because you didn't learn anything. You have to adopt healthier habits and be sustainable with it, or else you're gonna find yourself in the same predicament eight weeks from now, or 12 weeks from now, or whatever. I don't know, but it's just like this never-ending story. And you know that's right because you've probably been there before. You have to replace bad habits with good habits. You can't just do it for a little period of time and then move back into your old bad habits and then you are sat, you sit there and you're like, I don't understand what happened. I don't understand. I keep gaining weight. Every time I try to eat like a normal person, I start to gain weight. Normal people that are very thin and fit don't eat bad things all the time. Those are occasional indulgences. And I hate to break it to you, but unless you are a superstar athlete who's 18 years old and has the metabolism of, I don't know, a rabbit, maybe, they might, they seem like they have a fast metabolism. Unless you're very, very young and you are very, very athletic and you are very, very active, you got a normal metabolism and the rest of us are out there busting our butts and saying no to all those things that we would really like to eat like cookies and cake and pie and ice cream and chips and dips and everything in between. But the rest of us can't, you know, we, none of the people that you look at their body and you admire the way that they look, they don't eat like that. And it ain't the end of the world. You don't see them crying about it. Maybe they cry about it at night. I don't know. I don't know, but for the most part, they don't eat like that. So get that out of your mind and don't feel sorry for yourself. It's not the worst thing in the world to have to eat healthy food. Eat a friggin' vegetable for crying out loud. That's it. So just some reminders as we go into the holiday season, cause it's here. It's here. Halloween is this weekend. And P.S. A little P.S.A. about all that Halloween candy. Okay. Most of it is made from like really old candy that they mix together, like Tootsie Rolls. Those are like some, some old, old stuff. I know, I like Tootsie Rolls too. But don't go hog wild. Fun size does not equal I can eat 50 of them and I'm gonna be okay. Fun size equals danger. You might as well go get you a full size Snicker bar and just eat it get it out of your system because we tend to overeat those little bitty fun size 100 calorie packs it's just 100 calories no you usually end up eating more don't even lie to yourself stop it stop lying to yourself kelly's here to tell you the truth because kelly loves you okay i gotta get on the ride be good today drink a lot of water be blessed lovely people peace